everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica, and as you can see today, we are chilling on the floor in my closet because I have so much stuff in this drawer and this drawer over here, and I just want to start getting rid of a lot of my activewear. I try to do this like twice a year, and it's been a very long time since I've gone through this. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you want to stick around for more videos, hit the subscribe button down below. Now let's just get into it. As you can see, I love these plastic tubs. So many people hate on me for it, but you know what? I don't care. Because like, the last house we went to had built-in stuff, so then if I would have bought like a nice big dresser, dresser, dresser? Dresser? It would have been for nothing because I would have had to buy like temporary stuff anyway, so you'll know when we buy a house because when we buy a house, I will invest in a dresser. But for now, I got these big guys. Oh, they're heavy. So let's just dive in. Oh, also, am I the only one that never inside outs their leggings? My husband hates that I do that. Up first, we have these camo leggings from Jed North. If you've seen the video I made a while back about legging brands I'm no longer supporting, I'm not a huge fan of Jed North anymore. I don't really like that their brand is not well thought through. I've worked so much on the business side and I've worked for other activewear companies that are kind of in the influencer space before, so I know what it does take to make a successful brand and I just don't appreciate the lack of thought put into the Jed North line. But with that being said, this is the best legging they make. It's their camo legging and girl this is the most booty popping legging i own they're seamless and they're so comfortable unfortunately they're like the only thing that i consistently like from jed north so, so these will be in the keep pile up next these are by the brand 90 degrees by reflex they're pretty cute and very affordable very soft i really like this brand but these are capris and i really don't wear capris so i'm just gonna get rid of these my get rid of pile will be donated. Up next we have these mesh leggings. I think they're from the Kelly Rowland collection Fabletics had. Fabletics is cool and all, but some of their stuff just fits really, really strange. Like, especially in the booty department. I find that a lot of these, like, mainstream bigger brands don't really fit things well for people that have a booty. I always have to go to places like Gymshark and all that stuff, but I will be keeping these because I do wear them just not to work out. I find a lot of the Fabletics leggings I also don't work out in. They're just kind of for looks. Up next, I have these from Victoria's Secret. And as you probably saw, I have a rant video about the Victoria's Secret marketing team. <laughs> but I do like these. I like, I don't know, unique stuff that stands out. I don't even like biker shorts. This was just like a random purchase for me. I'm not a big Victoria's Secret person, but I will be keeping these. I don't work out in them. Well, I can do ab stuff, but I don't do like legs or anything because it's just like... A cottony material. It's not even like an active wear type of material, so we will be keeping those. Up next are these from Fabletics. Like I said again, I just feel like my butt, it doesn't have enough room in there. These are super soft and a high quality material. Um, I do wear these around the town, so I will be keeping these, but also not working out in them. Ooh, some classic Nike shorts. Do we remember these from high school when you'd wear like a t-shirt with these shorts? I think I only have one pair of these but I will be keeping them because I think they're so comfy. I lied, I have two pairs of them. These ones are from Target. I really don't wear these that often, but you know, for the day that I do. Up next we have some shorts by Nike. These are high-waisted shorts I got, I think from Nordstrom Rack on clearance. They're pretty nice and Nike's like one of my favorite brands, but man, the stuff they're doing, I don't know how I feel about it. If you have any thoughts on Nike, you wanna help educate me, about Nike, please drop it down in a comment down below. I'm very fascinated by learning. Oh, we have another pair of the camo leggings from Jed North that I love, so we will be keeping these. Next, we have some shorts from Target. I really don't wear these. These are like super old, like really, really old school, so we will be getting rid of those. Up next, we have some more shorts from Old Navy. I'm just going to be getting rid of these. They aren't high-waisted enough. They're kind of an older style. Good material, pretty decent, but I don't really need it. Next, we have some bombshell. Hmm. While these leggings are made very nicely and they have really great compression, they're very comfortable, I don't agree with the business owners of bombshell. So they will be going in my get rid of pile. I don't want to elaborate too much, but when company owners really talk crap about how people look, how influencers look, how people that are posting online look, and then they go ahead and sign them as an athlete, 
I don't, I don't respect the integrity of this brand for that reason. We have some more bombshell that I will be getting rid of. We have some more bombshell. This is going to my sister because she has the other pair of their camo leggings and she loves their camo leggings, so that's for her. <laughs> oh my gosh, these need to go in the trash can, but I will still keep them. These were my first pair of Gymshark leggings and they're inside out like everything else in my closet. I love these leggings so much, but they're falling apart. Um, they're my most worn leggings, I think. They aren't high-waisted, and I only really wear high-waisted nowadays, but I don't know, just so many memories, and I remember when I got these, I think my mom bought them for me for Christmas one year, and I just thought, like, oh, I was so happy, so we're gonna be keeping those. Up next is the Gymshark Extra High-Waisted Leggings. These are so amazing. If you've never bought from Gymshark, these are the first leggings you should buy from them, the high-waisted ones. Girl, they make you look so good. They make your stomach look tiny and your butt look huge and you just feel so confident in them. I need to buy them in more colors though. Again, we have more bombshell leggings. Man, there's so much I could say, but I'm gonna try to behave myself. Ooh, I forgot about these. These are at the bottom. Um, these are from Lilybod. They are one of the most underrated activewear brands, in my opinion. Their leggings are so incredibly amazing. They're like a neoprene smoothing material. They make your booty pop. They're just all around really, really great. The only thing I will say is my Lilybod leggings last about three years, which, you know, is fine. It's just the waistband gets a little loose um, as time goes on, so keep that in mind. But I would highly recommend investing in like a good black pair of leggings from them. Oh my gosh, this is getting ridiculous. More bombshell. And again, more bombshell. Next we have some seamless leggings from Jed North again. Like I said, very, very hit or miss, which is a huge disappointment. Like, Fabletics is hit or miss with their um, fit of their clothes, but luckily, like where I live, we have some Fabletics stores so I can try them on in person. But with Jed North, it's just not worth the gamble to me. Next is some Gymshark seamless leggings. While I do love these leggings, they are made for very, very tall humans, and I'm a very small person, so I'm going to be donating these, sadly, because I do love them so much, but the ankle is so bunched up, and there's too much of a design on it for me to just, like, cut them or something. Ooh, I forgot about these. These are from the brand Sweaty Betty. I love Sweaty Betty. I think they're really great. They're a little bit on the pricier end, so if you do, like, luxurious leggings, go for it, but... If I was picking up a good pair of black leggings, I'd probably go with Gymshark or Lilybod. We have some more Lilybod leggings here. I love these because they look like the 90s cup. Does anyone remember like that famous 90s cup? Is it just me? Is it just in my head? Possibly. I will definitely be keeping these. They are so flattering on. Next are these avocado leggings and I've kept these for so long and I barely wear them. They're not really leggings I would work out in. They're more like stuff that I'd lounge around in. They're like the thickest. Can you see? Can you tell how thick these are? It's an extremely thick pair of leggings, but not like hot, sweaty thick. Just like really comfy. They fit really, really great, but if you want to work out in them, I probably wouldn't do that. I think they're made for people who only do yoga, maybe. They're very unique, though. Even though I haven't worn them in a long time, I'm still going to keep them. Up next we have some more Gymshark, and yes, it's inside out. I'm actually going to get rid of this crop top because it is a size extra small, and I find their long sleeve crop tops I do like to size up in just so I'm a little bit more comfortable because um, sometimes they just get a little bunchy and tight. Next we have another pair of <laughs> bombshell leggings. I didn't realize half of my drawer is bombshell. Next we have the Gymshark Vital Seamless. I love the Gymshark Vital Seamless. They aren't my number one Gymshark pick, but they are still a really, really solid pair of leggings. Next, we have another pair of Gymshark leggings. These are the Flex leggings. While I don't wear the low-rise pink ones that much, I still want to keep them. I just love the way they look. Dang it, Jessica. Again, a Gymshark top in an extra small when I should be wearing a small, so meh. We have a pair of bombshell shorts. As you can see, they're very, very tiny, which is exactly the way they like their athletes to be very, very tiny. So, putting those over there. Next we have the Vital Seamless Crop Top. I actually find this one fits me a little bit better than these other ones here. I think because this one has the elastic at the bottom, it just kind of like doesn't look very flattering on me. So I'm gonna keep this one. But for all the other ones, I would size up to a small and not an extra small. 
Next we have some Reebok shorts, but to be honest, these are exactly like the old navy shorts that I have here that I'm getting rid of. They literally look identical and they feel the exact same. So if you are looking for a good pair of shorts and you don't care if they're high rise, Old Navy usually has some pretty great options. Up next we have these shorts, which they need to get some more love, to be honest. Um, I think I just haven't been wearing shorts that much lately, unfortunately, but I do love a good Gymshark short. I will still keep these and wear them, but food for thought, I would probably size up in Gymshark shorts. Up next we have some more bombshell shorts, and unfortunately, like I said, due to the integrity of the brand, I will no longer be supporting them. Oh my gosh, these are so old. These are from Target. They're just like those running shorts. These are the shorts that I wear when there's like an emergency in the middle of the night and Tim doesn't feel good and we're going to the ER. I'm gonna put these on or like, oh, can you run to Walgreens for me, honey, at 11 p.m. This is basically all that I wear these for. Last but not least, I have a tennis skirt, and I don't know why I keep this. When I play tennis, I wear leggings and shorts, but for that one time when I'm gonna want a tennis skirt, I will still keep these. I literally just dropped my legging pile in half. That is absolutely insane. Well, you know, now I just need to go shopping to refill it. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I will see y'all next time. Bye.